following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. A video appears. A bubbly animation reveals white text. Why ASDB? Here's why. To truly give ASDB a chance and give ASDB the opportunity to show you what the school and the agency is all about. Allowing them to not just change you, your career, but change you as a person. fades into that same bubbly animation. Now we see the ASDB logo and white text reading, learn and grow with us, apply today. Working here at PDSD is so amazing because I see our students grow and graduate and I'm inspired. Do you wanna be inspired? Come work at PDSD. Oh my goodness gracious, somehow, some way, day three, first game, WSBC tournament here at ASDB. You already know, I'm fresh, you're fresh, we're fresh, together. This morning, boys, Arizona Sentinels versus the Oregon Panthers. Of course, Arizona played last night, a hard fought match against Washington, and for that reason, you gotta applaud them being here at 8 a.m. ready to start the day. And here we go, tip off. Just like that, we're underway. This is Oregon ball now. Here's Damian Dykoff. You know him as Poseidon over to McConkey. McConkey doesn't quite have it. Damian with the rebound though. Rub a dub dub. And here's Cabral. Cabral put on a show yesterday. Three's not quite there. And that's an out of bounds ball. Here comes Oregon. And after a quick good morning from Coach Gerald Brown, we're back to the game here. This is Oregon. 12, Damian Dykoff over to Mason McConkey.
Here comes Cabral. Cabral from three points. Sets a stance. Still not quite there. Right. Other members of this Oregon team. Number three, Juan Francisco. Number 12, Damian Dykhoff. Number 25, the paint master, Braden Olson. Number 30, Mason McConkey. And on the court right now, that's 14. Raymond Freeman, Freeman Raymond. Some points put up on the board there by Oregon. Now it's going to be Sentinel Ball in the Panthers' nest. Here's number 45 for the Sentinels, Andrew. Get a piece of that work, Andrew. We love to see it. In on the Sentinels team there. Looks like number two, Jonathan Atondo's in. McConkey looking for three, doesn't have it. Rebounded, Damien over to Raymond Freeman. Freeman, the free man. Here's Oscar Perez, the third. Other members of this ASDB team. Oscar Perez, the third. Number 44, Amari Cheney. He's on the bench. Also number 12, Von Dwy. Here's Francisco and Damien playing a little ball tag. And here's Damien from three. Off the rim. Recovered by Cabral. Cabral working McConkey. Blocked by Damien. No cheese, no dice. Here's Cabral, same exact move again. Shot's not there. Raymond Freeman. Freeman Raymond not able to hold onto the ball out of bounds. Here comes Damien over to McConkey. McConkey driving from the paint. Gives it away. Oscar Perez the third. Here comes the third. It's going to be a foul on the Panthers there. Number three. That's Juan Francisco. Juan Felipe Francisco. That's not quite there. Second, neither. Rebound recovered by number 12, Damian Dykoff over to McConkey. McConkey. Gosh darn it. Nothing there. Arizona side, Cabral doing another step and still doesn't have that one either. Here comes Damien. He's going off the rails on a crazy train. Here's McConkey. Mm -mm -mm. I'm loving it. McConkey for three. It's a 30 second timeout for the Sentinels.
the buzzer making deep personal investments in my tinnitus development. Meanwhile, back to the game. Nikki Cabral. Over to Oscar Perez the third. That's intercepted by Juan Francisco. Damien looking for something. Still doesn't have it. And that's going to be Panthers tossing it in. Over to Damien. Damien from three. Breakfast. The most important meal of the day. Serving it up Damien's way. Here's Nikki Cabral, number five, over to Perez. Perez circling the outside. In to Dewey, looking for it, able to stop the steal. Game's still in play, folks. And that's Cabral looking for something. Raymond Freeman trying to come down with it, wrestling Perez. It's anyone's ball. That looked like hockey. Here's Damian Dykoff now. Here's McConkey. McConkey just sitting down on the court. Here he is, folks, number 30, Mason McConkey. Here's McConkey. Here's Cabral. Here's Dewey. Both attempts no good. Here we go, number 12, Long Dewey. Nice, number 45, Andrew, with the high five. Number 12, Dewey. 30 second timeout called by the Oregon side. Coach rushing him over. I don't pay you to walk. And we're back in motion, folks. And we're going off the rails on a crazy train. Here's Damian Dykoff out to Mason McConkie, looking for Francisco. Damian driving out to Francisco. Francisco's got a little room. Oh my goodness sakes. Francisco putting up an easy three. Sentinel teammates bumping into each other for fun now. Here's Perez the third. Not quite there, that score, 14 zip. Here's Damien.
Stolen by Dwight. Nothing. Damien wide open. Come on, Sentinels. Sentinels leaving the castle unguarded. Damien able to sneak past the moat of alligators. Here's Cabral looking to answer. 30 seconds left in this first period. Here's Francisco. He already put one up in that wing. Here's Damien. Damien to the paint master. Paint master getting his own rebound. I'm not gonna lie folks, yesterday he might have been demoted to floor manager. But today he's moving back up the ranks. That's number 25, Braden Olson. And for the po first points of the day, just knocking three up at the end of the first quarter. I think you're supposed to do that the whole time though, not just the ends of the quarters. That score, 18-3, we'll be back in a moment. ASDB is looking for today's leaders and for tomorrow's leaders. Not just at school, but in life, work, and the world. How can you help us lead? Hope you enjoyed the game. Come get involved here at PDSD and ASDB. Become a coach, a teacher. Hey, you could even lead us to our next victory. Thank you, buzzer. Personal note to the buzzer, they hate you because they ain't you. And here we go, Sentinels leading the charge on the top of this second period. Might need a scoreboard adjustment. Meanwhile, basketball is happening. Number 11, number 12 trying to make a number sandwich. Here comes Cabral. Recovered. Still doesn't have it on the second attempt there. It was Amari Chaney. Here's Damien. Over to Francisco. Francisco stepping back. Looking for Damien again. Damien from three. Bada bing, bada no. That's not there. Here's Oscar Perez now, top of the arc. Sentinel's bench saying Washington, but they played yesterday, funny. Here's Amari Chaney looking for it, not there. Recovered, Olsen, floor manager of Sherwin-Williams. Here's Damien making a miss. Over to McConkey. Francisco, Damien again. Damien looking for Raymond Freeman into the glasses of Von Dwight, but he looks okay. Here's Perez looking for it. No, sir. You need $2.50 to ride this bus. Meanwhile, layup attempt not there. Here come the Sentinels, driving. Without a license, that attempt is no good. Raymond Freeman with the offensive screen. That's a free man if I've ever seen one. That's Raymond Freeman, Freeman, Raymond. 
Here's Perez looking for it. Perez, beautiful pass off the glass. Perez gonna be able to shoot some free throws here. Meanwhile, foul on number 30, Mason McConkie. First attempt by Perez is good. Cabral looking for a high five from Perez after that free throw. Doesn't get it, so he gives it to himself. And a 30 second timeout called by the Oregon team. Timeouts wrapped. Damien, Olsen. Olsen. Olsen looking to get promoted to warehouse manager here at the paint shop. Dewey looking for it. Not quite there, just off the glass. Back to Damien. Here's Francisco. Damien. Perez with the move on Freeman. Very close on the attempt. Francisco with it. Back to Damien. Damien setting the screen. Nice work. Damien, they mean business. Oregon, 23, Sentinels 5. Meanwhile, Arizona still looking for some more points here. Here's Francisco with some room. Here's Cabral. He's got every man on the defense on him. Just can't make it happen. Sentinels looking Pretty winded here. Makes sense, they played a lot of tough games the last few days. Can they pick up the speed? Can they go the distance? Here's Cabral. Number 45, Andrew, looking to get his hands on it. Almost there. And a timeout's called by the Sentinel side. It's going to be a 30 second.
Here come the Sentinels now. They're sprinting from the sidelines. That's a great sign. Have a good time. And here's Nikki Cabral from three. Recovered though, number 12. Yes, sir. On to I. And I wonder why. Here's Damien now. They're looking for a foul on that. Ref's like, nope. Here's Nikki Cabral. Smothered in the paint like an artist in a smock, and he's still able to seal the deal. Howie Mandel would be proud. It's going to be a pushing call on number 24. That's on the Oregon side. That's Jesus Hidalogo. Here comes Cabral. Cabral over to Perez. Perez circling the three-point line in the paint. Cabral handing it to his phantom friend. Here's Damien. Damien putting a finger in the sky if you want to. Intercepted by Perez. One man to beat. Perez. Direct pass to Damien off the glass. Here's Olsen. Yep. Formerly warehouse manager. He just landed himself a private jet. Cabral making a move. Is there a little comeback happening? Possibly. That score, 25-11. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. Here comes Damien. That's going to be a pushing call on number 25. Again. Here comes Cabral. Stuffed up like a clogged nose. Here's Damien. Over to Jesus. That's stuffed. Seems both teams have some runny noses on the court today. They're stuffed up. Mason McConkie back in the game for Oregon. Over to Damien. Damien looking for something in the paint. Not quite there. Damien now going to be shooting two from the free throw line. Meanwhile, here comes number two, Jonathan Atondo for the Sentinels. Easy point on the board for Damien Dykoff. One's not there. I did just hear a curse word from one of the players on the court. I'm not going to say who it was. Here we go again. Easy swish there for Damien. Here's Cabral. Andrew putting it up, putting in that work on the defense. Ball stolen by Francisco. That's Juan. Juan looking for an open person. In the hands of Jesus, but he's got three defenders on him. Perez able to snatch it away.
Oregon looking for a holding call. Here's Damien. Just a little something, just a little hook, line and sinker, two points on the board. Damien, Cabral. Cabral is mastering this off the glass pass here. Meanwhile, one second left in the quarter. Cabral shooting from the free throw line. First one's not quite there. Second one's easy. Just want to point out photographer Brianna on the west wall getting in some morning sunlight. You love to see it. Here's Cabral working on Damien. He's like, no more easy bet buckets. Didn't quite work though. It's going to be a foul on number five. Beautiful pass into the paint master. They don't call him that for no reason. He's looking for that CEO spot he's trying to reclaim. That's number 45, Andrew, earning a brute force call. We haven't heard that yet. I like the energy. Looks like there's not going to be a free throw attempt after that. Damien looking for the paint master, not able to secure it. Here comes Dwy now. Dwy passing to the Oregon coach. Interesting tactic. He hasn't played the whole tournament, but maybe he does. McConkie out the shoes of Damien. Damien just lining it up for three. Off the glass right before the end of the first half. Damien just putting it up. That score, 34-12, back in 10. The following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. A shot of a slow moving camera with nobody in a room to eat lunch appears. It goes slowly across a picnic table. The camera flies across an empty gymnasium with no athletes playing. The shot shows an empty stage an empty theater with empty seats. The shot shows an empty playground.
The shot shows an empty hallway in a school building. Text reads, our campuses need you. So do tomorrow's leaders. In a flash montage, the words deaf, blind, leadership, sportsmanship appear on the screen, followed by the words, hashtag join ASDB with a QR code leading to ASDB Teamworks app. The following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. A video appears. A bubbly animation reveals white text. Why ASDB? Here's why. ASDB has contributed so much to my life. I grew up attending ASDB, and when I graduated and left, I noticed just how much of what I learned here during my time I could use and apply to my life. And now, I'm back here as an instructor, and I'm able to give back, and this is because of my time here as a student and how beneficial it really was. Here on campus, everyone has communication access, and I can communicate with anyone. It doesn't matter if you're deaf or hearing, and if you know sign language or you don't. Everyone has access to an interpreter. And for the students, I think it's just great that deaf, hard of hearing, sighted or not sighted students have the opportunity to communicate and participate in sports. I've had the wonderful experience of working as a teacher, a coach and a tutor. And all these opportunities are because of ASDB. And I don't know where I would be. So yes, ASDB has given me a lot. And it could do the same for you as well. The interview fades into that same bubbly animation. Now we see the ASDB logo and white text reading, learn and grow with us, apply today. The following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. Video appears, a bubbly animation reveals white text. Why ASDB? Here's why. Working here at ASDB has allowed me to grow and become a teacher leader in the elementary department. Those skills and experience have led me to travel around to different states and offer professional trainings in bilingual education environments. Also as a teacher leader, I'm able to work with different professional learning communities or PLCs, and I have the skills to train all teachers in my elementary department. Also on the national level, I work as a board member on the National Deaf Education Council. The interview fades into that same bubbly animation. Now we see the ASDB logo and white text reading, learn and grow with us, apply today. The following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. A video appears, a bubbly animation reveals white text. Why ASDB? Here's why. I feel in my heart that ASDB and my work helps students gain the knowledge they need to become better people, better professionals, better students, and teaches the public that just because someone is visually impaired or has a disability, that doesn't mean they are different. It means that they might do their job or have a different life, but they can be just as successful as everyone else. fades into that same bubbly animation. Now we see the ASDB logo and white text reading, learn and grow with us, apply today. The following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. The words why Arizona feature prominently on the screen against a backdrop of a night time-lapse video. The words natural sights appear across beauty shots of different areas in Arizona, from the desert to lakes. Burrow walks through a western town. There are more beauty shots of Arizona, including a lake and a street down the middle of an old mining town. Shots of hiking trails appear. The words city life flash across the screen. Drone shots highlight downtown Phoenix, the Cardinal Stadium, Paradise Valley, Scottsdale. The words and ASDB feature on the screen. Drone shots appear of the Phoenix and Tucson campuses. Hashtag join ASDB with a QR code leading to ASDB Teamworks applications page.
following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. A video appears. A bubbly animation reveals white text. Why ASDB? Here's why. How did I get here? Well, I got my master's in deaf ed at U of A. I did my internship here. I student taught in the high school ELA and I've been here for 20 years now. If you love teaching and you love children, ASDB is the best place to be. The interview fades into that same bubbly animation. Now we see the ASDB logo and white text reading, learn and grow with us, apply today. The following video features audio description for our blind and visually impaired viewers. A woman bathed in blue light walks down a school hallway. She is surrounded by colorful flags. ASDB is looking for today's leaders and for tomorrow's leaders. Not just at school, but in life, work, and the world. How can you help us lead? Text on the screen reads, Our programs need you, so do tomorrow's leaders. In a flash montage, the words deaf, blind, leadership, sportsmanship appear on the screen, followed by the words hashtag join ASDB with a QR code leading to ASDB Teamworks Applications page. Hope you enjoyed the game. Come get involved here at PDSD and ASDB. Become a coach, a teacher. Hey, you could even lead us to our next victory. And just like that, folks, we're right back in play. This is Arizona ball. Score at the top of the half, 34-12. Panthers. Here comes Cabral, up to it. Little bit left there. Let's see if he's got it on the second attempt. There you go. Over to McConkey. Old McConkey had a farm. E I E I L. Two points on the board, Mason McConkey. Here's Damien now on the recovery. Damien, coast to coast. No, sir. Here's Cabral from the paint. Easy two points.
That score now, 36-12. Wow. What a move. Here's Damien stepping up again to the free throw line. And that's good. Here comes Arizona. Looking for, looks like, Dewey, but it lands in the hands of Perez. Here's Dewey trying to put it up again and again. Arizona trying to hang on to it. In the hands of Damien, over to Francisco. Francisco swallowed up by Dewey. Damien, over to Olsen, into the hands of Raymond Freeman, can't stay with it. Raymond Freeman, though, has the speed. Blocked by Damien. Look at that, Braden Olsen, wide open in the paint, can't get it done, though. And that's going to be a foul called, looks like Braden Olsen from the Panthers. He's given some signs to his coach. Like he might have got knocked in the head. Here's Oscar Perez now. Jonathan Atondo on the temp. Wasn't quite there though. Panthers looking for an open man. That's Raymond Freeman. And Westward Brick Wall, first assist of the morning. Got to give it up. Westward Brick Wall has been here all three days now. Hell of a performance. Excuse me, heck of one. And here we go. Dewey finding an open Cabral at the three-point line. Into the paint. Just outside of it. Ball recovered, Panthers, here comes Damian. It's score, folks. Friendly reminder, 39-14, Panthers up. 25. Here's Damian, driving, loses possession. Here's the Sentinels now. McConkey able to secure it for Oregon. And here comes Damian down the right stretch. Damian's in the paint. And a whistle is blown. First foul of the game there. Jonathan Atondo. 
Meanwhile, he's getting a little shoelace assist from the ASTB Sentinels coach. He'd love to see it. Here's McConkey passing in. Over to Francisco. Francisco, Atundo's all over him. Francisco finds an open Damien. 24, Jesus hit a logo, setting the screen. They're looking for him into the shins of number 45, Andrew. Despite being up 25, Oregon heading back to their net, looking displeased. Here's DeWy. And that's going to be another foul called Mason McConkey. His third of the day. First attempt there from Von Dwyer. A little high. And we got a summon coming in for a hit, hit a logo. That's Braden Olson, CEO of Sherman Williams. That second attempt not quite there. Sentinel's looking to get a hand on it. Cabral putting it up. And we got some points on the board, folks. 16-39. Damien wide open. Can't let him do that to you. He's going to sink a three every time. Cabral doing a roundabout. Over to Perez. It's worth noting yesterday Perez was playing with salmon colored shoes. Today, they're black. Wonder if that has anything to do with this performance. Meanwhile, full timeout called by the Oregon side. We're going to take a break here. At the end of that full timeout, Francisco passing into Damian Dykoff. Damian looking for a screen, but Vaughn's still all over him. And despite that, he's putting two on the board. Tell me why. Sentinel is able to hang on to possession here. in 
the hands of Nikki Cabral. Francisco with the steal. Working against Cabral finds Damien. Damien into the paint master. They don't call him that for nothing. He just put two points on the board from the paint. Oh, Nikki Cabral taking a tumble. We hate to see it. Number five for the Sentinels, Nicky Cabral getting up to his feet, walking to the bench here. Full timeout is called. And we're back in play. Nikki Cabral on his feet. Right away making a move from the paint. Glad he is okay. That was a serious tumble. Here's Oregon now. Off the knees of Raymond Freeman. Freeman Raymond. Come the Sentinels now. That score with just a little over two minutes in this third quarter, 46-19, Oregon Panthers. Sentinels though, still answering. That one didn't go anywhere, but 
Arizona hanging on to it. Nikki from three into the hands nearly of number 45, Andrew. Here comes Damien. Damien making a motion to Jesus. Jesus not able to hang on to it. Sentinels recovering the ball. And there it is, putting some points up on the board. Damien making a motion move, looking for an open Braden Olsen or Raymond Freeman. Damien making the hole by himself, putting two up, 48-21. Another move made by number 12, Bon Duai. Just couldn't get it right up there. Here's Damien. Damien moving through. And here come the Washington Terriers boys team lining down the side of the bleachers. Most of them are still in their PJs and slippies. Sentinels here doing a little weave move, trying to throw the Panthers off their scent. Just right past the hands of Jonathan Atondo. Damien, heck of a pass to the paint master. Oh my goodness, number 25, Braden Olsen. Braden Olsen, braiding the defense like a ponytail weave. <laughs> Putting a shot up to end that quarter, but it's no good. That score going into this last one, 50-21. Panthers up, 29. Sentinels coming back on the court. They don't play no game that they can't win. So they're looking to even this one up in the fourth. Ball intercepted by Sentinels, blocked by Damien. Damien saying, we're going to go ahead and 86 that one from the menu, chef. Another phantom pass 
Francisco racing for possession. Him and Perez. Perez off his cool black shoes. Damian nearly taking a spill. Whistle's blown. And a foul on number 11. That's Oscar Perez the third for pushing. Sentinel's disagreeing with that call. Scorekeepers nearly powdered into dust, saved by the bell, literally. And here's Damien. Dewey behind him, couldn't keep up. Braden Olsen, stolen from Oscar Perez. Not the first, the second, the third. Get it right the first time. Here he goes. Oscar Perez, beautiful pass to the other team. In the hands of the law offices of Raymond Freeman. And the paint master following it up with two. Here we go, Oscar Perez back over to Nikki Cabral. Oscar Perez putting it up in the hands of Raymond Freeman again. Raymond Freeman is the way to go. Call 977-1900. And here's the paint master, not able to secure it, get it done. We're gonna line up now in the picket post formation. Mason McConkie over all of them. Damien striding into Andrew, looking to put it up. Defense trying to get their hands on it. They're good. Here's Cabral pushing into Francisco. Doesn't have it recovered by McConkey. Braden Olsen missing the pass there. Conky over to Damien. Damien putting his tongue out as he returns to his net. That's how you know things are getting serious. And here's Cabral. He's like, you're not the only one who can do that. I can do that too. Anything you can do, I can do better. Damien's like, no, actually, I can do it better. Putting another two points up on the board. That score, by the way, folks, 57-21, Panthers, ball. And this is going to be a full timeout called by the Sentinels here. Mr. Rubin looking very relaxed on this third day, all limbs extended. That should be a foul. Rubin, there are children present. And there it is. Five minutes left to go in this first game. Day three, WSBC at ASDB. 
Lots of numbers, lots of letters. Here goes basketball. Oscar Perez to Carball. Excuse me, Cabral. Cabral with the three. Easy as A, B, C, one, two, three. Nikki Cabral putting three points up on the board. Damien running right into Oscar Perez. Perez taking a tumble. All good. And they're going to put the foul on Perez. Staggering. Here's McConkie out to Damien. Damien trying to beat Dewey. Dewey's on him. Here's Damien. Trying to get his own rebound. Doesn't have it. Here comes Oscar Perez, the third. Dun da da da. Perez, excellent job kissing the net with the basketball. Normally, though, it's supposed to go up and over. Here come the Panthers. Sentinel defenders looking for their man. Looking for the hands of Braden Olsen. It's not there. Recovered. Cabral. Cabral for another three. Not there, though. No Jackson 5 today. Damien making a move. Damien setting up with the paint master. Stepped up. No, sir. Sentinels, McConkie fighting for the ball here. And here comes number 23, Scotty. I was just handed a latte and my morning is instantly better. Here we go. Damien, insane pass to the paint master who can't get it done. That's okay. A very loud whistle in my ear lets me know a foul has been called. Nikki Cabral at the line. That's going to be on number 12, Damian Dykoff. Second of the day. That score, folks, 57-24. Nikki, though, looking to even it up. And two minutes to go in this one. Thank you, buzzer. Second one's no good either. Recovered. Paint master, here comes Damian. Dewey all on him. Ball recovered by the Sentinels. Here they go. Atondo, do it. Finish him. Nope. He doesn't have it. Damien breaking past Dewey. He's got an open lane, sort of. Gets his own rebound, tries to put it up again. No, sir. And just like that, the Westward scoreboard goes dark. Zero dark, 30. Here come the Sentinels. Cabral looking for something. Cabral stepping out for three. No. One minute left to go in this one. Here's Jesus hit a logo. Over to Damien. Damien hitting everyone with the bear claw. They're like, oh, holy smokes, what does that mean? Damien into Francisco. Francisco! Battle of the Bay Area and the Golden Gate Bridge wins again. Francisco, two on the board. That score, 59-24. 30 seconds left to go in this quarter. Sentinels looking a bit sweepy. They might just run it out. Oregon's not mad. They've been playing all tournament long. We're going to run it out here, folks. 
Looks like that final, 59-24, unless Nicky pulls something off incredible. He's gonna go for it. Nicky ending the game with an excellent pass to his teammate, Oscar Perez III. Excellent job by both these teams today. They've been playing hard all tournament long. You gotta give it up for them. Sentinels here, final score 24, Oregon 59. Let's keep things going. We've got a, another game coming up in just a little bit here. That's gonna be the Washington girls team versus the Utah girls team. Terriers, Eagles, Whoa. we'll see you there. <laughs> 